Hello guys, this is Hack13, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys on how to SSH into an iPod Touch or iPhone running firmware 3.0, 3.1, 3.1.1, or 3.1.2. Alright, so the first thing we do before we use the iPod Touch or iPhone is open up your default internet browser and go to this link which will be in the description available to the right of this video. And this page will pop up. And say so your Winscape download will start shortly. And if nothing pops up, you can click this, direct link. And you want to make sure you save it to your desktop. So once you have the Win SCP set up on your desktop, you want to double click it. And this will pop up, and you just want to click Run. And then it will say, welcome to the WinSCP Setup Wizard. You want to click Next. Next. And you want to select Typical Installation. And then it's, keep the radio button. Do not install Wi-Fi. Checked. And then click Next. Then choose Commander Interface. Then click Install. And then it's already finished should save a shortcut on your desktop and for now I'm going to uncheck the launch win SCP button and click finish so as you can see here when SCP setup is automatically made a shortcut on your desktop and the icon looks pretty cool compared to the old one so you want to double click it and this will pop up for now we're not going to mess with this just leave this open and now move to your iPod touch all right so now on your iPod touch or iPhone you want to make sure it is jailbroken and that you have a working Wi-Fi. Obviously, when in SSH, you cannot use a cellular network um, to connect to your computer over SSH, so you'll need to have Wi-Fi, whether you have an iPhone or iPod Touch, and it obviously needs to be jailbroken. And if it's jailbroken, you should have Cydia. So then you want to go to search, go to the search bar, and search O P E N S S H and you want to touch it and install it so it will prepare it and download it and it will say reloading data And it returns to Cydia. You want to go back to search. And then you want to search toggle SSH. So it is T O G G L E S S H. So you want to search that and then download this too. And you will actually get an app on your iPod Touch or iPhone with Toggle SSH, which is what you need. You want to hit Return to Cydia, and then you can just press the Home button. You should have a new app. It's called Toggle SSH, and it may look different than this. This only looks the way it is because of my theme. So you want to open it up. You want to hit Enable. You also want to make sure that you are close to your Wi-Fi connection because you want to have a strong Wi-Fi. So after you have opened Toggle SSH and clicked and I mean touched Enable, you want to go to your computer and you'll see right here is when SCP. And you want to go to username. You want to type in root. So R O O T. Then you want to go to password and type in this. A L P I N E Alpine. Now here's for the part that um, that I don't really want you guys to see. I'm gonna go to settings, Wi-Fi, and you want to click that little arrow right there. That's two wire zero zero four. So let's see how I'm gonna do this. So your IP address should be at the very top, 
as you can see right there, whenever your IP address is, so, so whatever your IP address is, you wanna type that in right where it says host name. So I'm gonna type it in. And then you wanna click login. And I'll say connecting to host, searching for host, and this should pop up. And you just wanna hit yes. And then you have successfully SSH in your iPod Touch or iPhone. While um, you are connected into SSH with your computer in your iPod Touch or iPhone, you wanna make sure your screen does not dim. As if it does, um, the Wi-Fi function will turn off and when SCP will just shut down saying the connection was refused. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If it worked, please rate five stars, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you had any problems, feel free to send me a message on YouTube or just leave a comment so both me and other YouTubers can help you out. See you later.